So now I want to make some, uh, uh, put some magnets on the back of these inserts. So when you drop them in there, you can remove them to replace pictures. So I, I went to uh, the craft store and picked up a bunch of these. They're called rare earth magnets, and they're tiny and they're just super strong. They're just hard to get apart. Uh, so they're going to work out really well. I'll just glue those to the backs of the inserts. So for the inside, for them to stick to, I'm just going to use uh, uh, half inch screws. And the only trick here is I've already marked where I want to drill the holes to put these in. But I want to make sure that when I drill these holes, I don't go all the way through the backing because that would be disastrous or that would, that would be awful. So I've uh, just set the drill bit at exactly the depth I need it and I should be able just to uh, pound uh, four of these on in. And finally so that the uh, screw heads will be uh, flush uh, to that MDF I just want to uh, put in some countersinks uh, and just bore it out a little like so. And now I can just uh, carefully drive those screws on in. And with those countersinks they fit flushly. So <laughs> I got to looking at my circles and I didn't cut those out centered exactly right. There's a, It's a wider section here than it is up here and these two sides aren't equal, but, uh, you know, that gives it that uh, rustic, homemade look. So to attach these uh, magnets, I'm just going to mix up a little dab of uh, epoxy. And I like to use epoxy for gluing anything that's not wood to wood. Uh, this is quick set epoxy, and you mix up the two halves, and stuff will dry in about five minutes so you got to work quickly and I've already separated my magnets otherwise they just jump onto each other <laughs> and very carefully I should be able to dab just a touch on each one and drop it into place well now it's time to finish this project and uh, the Brazilian cherry is kind of a uh, it has oils in the finish that it doesn't really accept polyurethane or varnish very well. So I'm just going to put on an oil finish. Uh, I'm going to use Danish oil. You can use linseed oil. works about the same. And uh, it gives it kind of a nice mellow look to it. And it uh, kind of accentuates the grain patterns. Uh, the Brazilian cherry has a real open grain to it. And I don't really want to fill that grain. I want to leave it so that you can see that. So to apply an oil finish is super easy. The first thing you need to do is sand the wood and you don't want to sand it down any finer than about 240 grit sandpaper. Uh, if you go down finer than that it'll appear a lot smoother but when you put on the oil it's really not going to penetrate into the wood. So uh, I'll just uh, start sanding to uh, 240 and go from there. So a tip when using an oil finish is to, uh, once you've sanded it down to uh, 240 grit, just take a wet rag, just water, and wet all the surfaces. And what this will do is raise the grain, the little fibers in the wood will raise up, you know, you really can't see them, it's almost microscopic. But then, once this water has dried, Go back and sand it again with 240 grit sandpaper and uh, you'll be left with a really nice smooth finish. And now that that water has dried, I'll just go in by hand with uh, 240 grit sandpaper and uh, knock down those little uh, fibers of wood that have been raised up. So. Applying oil finish is just simplicity itself. I've uh, removed all the dust with a tack cloth and uh, I, I vacuumed it all off and so all you got to do is just uh, simply rub it on and you're flooding the surface with oil 
and that'll soak into the wood. So you want to do this one time, let it uh, soak in for an hour or so, and then you can actually come back and just uh, put on another coat. And with uh, two coats of that oil finish applied and soaked in, I'm just going to wipe off any of the excess that might be on there, and that's it. And with that final screw in, it should close up nicely. So this project is almost done. All I got to do is uh, print out a couple of pictures to put on the inside. I've uh, printed out a couple of pictures and uh, cut them down to the right size and dropped those in. and this project is complete and uh, it's a really great little project and I hope you give it a shot with whatever wood you might have uh, in your shop uh, like I said you can put this thing together in a day or two and it makes a great gift and thank you for watching my video